What a beautiful day to be a bear. What's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. I got asked so many times yesterday because of all this hype that was going to this stock called uh, ticker symbol DWAC. Um, again, I don't care about your political point or your political party of who you like or who you don't like. Um, this is a shit company. It, it, it is what it is, right? We talked about this during the live trading session because people were like, oh, Ricky, what do you think? It's an overhyped momentum play pump and dump. That is all it is. Look at the volume, look at the normal trading volume, and look what we've recently gone through. This has happened so many times with this company. And what happens every single time that it pumps? It dumps. It pumps, it dumps. It pumps, it dumps. It pumps, it dumps. So, it's not rocket science, right? Let's not take it personal. Again, I literally do not care about what political party you are. We are all here for the same reason, that's to make money. And if you think for one second that this thing's gonna continue to hold at these overbought levels when volume is 100X of what it normally is, then I wish you nothing but the best. That, that's all I have to say. Right now, very overbought, very overextended, and we got a glimpse today of how quickly things can go south. So can it continue to run up and have these nice little plays? Of course. But at one point, just like it's done it in the past before, it becomes so overvalued that just like a slingshot, it corrects itself. And guess what? The more overbought that this becomes, the more in my radar this will be you know, in to potentially open up a short position. I would love to make money if this thing offers enough downside and direction is clear enough. Just like today, Coinbase downgraded by JP Morgan. $80 per share is what the... Um, what, what the article said is what JP Morgan rated it at uh, by one of the analysts. So you could see also that Bitcoin saw a significant drop. We talked about this. If Bitcoin drops below 40,000, you know, things are going to start to go south for most likely Coinbase and Mara. And what happened? Both Mara and Coin aggressively selling off today anywhere from 3 to 5% in the red. You cannot be surprised by these things. These things get overhyped, just like the spot Bitcoin ETF, just like Coinbase did, just like Bitcoin did, just like Mara did, and just like DWAC did. And then once they begin to sell off, let's not be afraid to lock in profits. Let's not be afraid to also short these crap companies because we know that they're overvalued. But most importantly, maybe you don't think they're overvalued. Maybe you don't think that they're crap companies, but we agree on one thing that they are overhyped up and and you need to see eye to eye with that like it, it just doesn't make sense and look at this i just i reopened another short position adding more on coin and the more that it sells off the more money i will make i would love to see coin at 110 115 a share shoot i'd love to see coin back at 70 dollars a share where its true value was before all this bs hype came from the spot bitcoin etf but we're probably not going to get that but i i would say that 115, 110 is, is not far-fetched, especially with how things are going with Bitcoin. If Bitcoin continues to sell off, you know, put your seatbelt on because it's gonna be a fun ride for coin. So really excited to follow up. We do have a handful of companies that are gonna be reporting earnings today. Verizon, 3M, GE, all reported earnings today before the market opened. Netflix reports earnings after the market closes. But most importantly, tomorrow, Tesla reports after the market closes. I do plan to live stream that Tesla, that Tesla earning reports. But I'll leave it up to you guys. If you guys get this video to over one, uh, 500 likes, I would be more than happy to host that live stream for free on our YouTube channel. All you have to make sure you do is subscribe. I hope that it earned your thumbs up. And again, if I offended you based off of what I said about a stock that you truly believe in, then I truly do not care, right? Your opinions have nothing, your, your hopes or your desires have no effect on that given stock. Don't make this personal. We are all here to do the same thing and that's make money, right? So let's not overcomplicate it. If you have any questions about being able to, you know, or anything that we talked about today or being able to watch me trade live, shoot me a DM via Discord. If not, I'll see you tomorrow at live uh, for our live trading session right at Market Open. And that's the second link in the description down below. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care, team.